When you graduate high school, there can be a lot of pressure on what's next. One recent grad chose a route most of her peers didn't, but in two years, she will be a machine operator on a manufacturing plant in Davidson County with no debt. The diameter is going to be 20 minus 3.6. She was very nice and sweet and okay, seemed so to be very tender hearted or timid and I was worried about this in an industrial world. Rosie Rizura Nahar is one of three women in the Davidson and Davy Apprenticeship Consortium. Where everyone thinks, oh, industrial men, heavy lifting, heavy work, but I I've proven to myself that I can do what everybody else does here. A year ago, she was a student at Lexington Senior High School. Today, Two, she's six, learning six, how to build mm -hmm. nearly everything well, at Eggerwood right. Products, thanks to inspiring words from her mentor, Miss Hayes. I know this might be scary, and I know this might make you nervous, but you know what? You're the most confident person I know, and you can get through anything. So mm -hmm. I applied, and a few weeks later, I had a, got, a, got a phone call, and I was like, no way, no way, I just made it to Edgar. Rosie is the first machine operator apprentice. We will use her to help build this program, what works, what don't. She's gonna be the pioneer for this position. Rosie says some tasks are scary at first. Especially that lathe, you see that lathe then you see it turning on and it's running. Program manager Jay Jenkins wants to help Rosie get across the street working on the plant. I told my wife, I said, I want to make sure I teach them everything I know before I die. That's my goal in life. Six months on the job, Jay now calls her sparkling Rosie. Well, the reason why I'm here today is because you were recognized as a phenomenal woman in this program. Do you see Rosie as a phenomenal woman? I do. I mean, there's some days that I'm doubtful of her, but I do. I want to say happy birthday to Rosie. Her birthday is, oh. in fact, this upcoming week. So oh, I just wanted to have happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> I love the fact that you don't hear about, like, mentor apprenticeships that mm -hmm. much anymore. I mean, yeah, you have some people to help you with your career, but to truly bring you in, teach you a trade, and walk you through the paces, that's not that common. I was going to say a trade is a great avenue to take yes. if you're not sure if you want to go to a four-year school yet because you get skills very quickly and then you uh there's such in high demand there's so many different jobs you can do once you leave that program my dad yeah. used to say there'll never not be a need for a carpenter you know absolutely what I mean? sure. yeah. yes yeah. and they get paid while they're doing yes, they it too do. so they're not just you know going and learning the skills they're getting paid while they're doing they're even paying for their education because they get a certificate afterwards some do a four-year program where they actually get a college degree at the wow. same time so they're paying for all of it so like i said you don't have debt when you finish and you already even have a full-time job yeah Debt free is a win yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I think it's so important that schools don't just focus on college readiness, but there are other avenues mm -hmm. where you can make really good money and there are different, uh, you know, jobs that are out there that really need people. So it's incredible that she's doing this and Monique. I love these segments. These I are yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, there's no way you'd have gotten Monique in a wood shop in any <laughs> <laughs> at any other time. That's not my territory <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, you did a great job. That's when it'd be Mo on the stop. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going I any like further. That.